Welcome everyone. In this video, I will be reviewing Tamron 28 to 200 millimeter full frame lens, and we start at 28 millimeters. One of the many positives about this lens is that it goes all the way to 200 millimeters, which is what you're seeing right now. It's a big difference from 28 millimeters. Even though this lens has an impressive zoom range, it only weighs 575 grams. This is a very manageable weight for things like hiking, travel, gimbal, and prolonged handheld operation. We also have a 67 millimeter filter thread, which is very popular, and a lockable zoom barrel. This lock seems more like a precautionary measure because the lens does not extend on its own when you are carrying it around, which is a great thing. The price is somewhat affordable, especially if you wait for a discount or a holiday sale. Minimum focus distance is impressive. I had other three Tamron lenses and they were all uh, having that kind of similar macro-like ability to focus. Let's talk about the negatives and thankfully there are not that many. There are no on-lens controls like manual focus switch or a shortcut button. It's not a big deal for me, I don't really use those, but for some people who are used to that, that's going to be a problem. This lens doesn't have stabilization, which is not a big deal for me, but that could be a problem if you're using an older camera that doesn't have IBIS. Uh, thankfully, all new cameras come with IBIS now, and that feels like plenty for this camera. Double extending zoom barrel. This is bad news for longevity. You can get all kinds of stuff in there. And if you're using a gimbal, then this will definitely throw off the balance. The zoom ring is not that smooth when you're doing it slowly. So this could be an issue for videography. If you're doing it fast, it's fine. But for precise, slow zooming, uh, this lens feels a bit jittery. I think I know why Tamron did that. This way the lens is not going to come out on its own when you just carry it around. But it's going to be a little issue when you're doing slow zooming uh, with video. You'll just have to put extra effort to it to make sure that it's not jittery. There is definitely some focus breathing, but it's not that bad. Here's an example of the sun rays at 28 millimeters here is 200 millimeters sun rays in summary a lot of positives and very few negatives this could be the best all-in-one lens out there impressive range 28 to 200 millimeters as you have been seeing throughout this whole video. F2.8 aperture, it allows you to do some low light, get some extra blur, good minimum focus distance, affordable pricing, especially at a discount, and not too bulky, not too heavy. It's a lot of good things all in one package. Very easy to recommend.